Hello and welcome to the Borealis Experience. I'm your host Aurora, life coach and companion on this beautiful journey called life. I hope you're doing well. I hope you feel safe. I hope your heart is light. I hope you feel free. I hope you can see that you have choices in life. My last episode was about the choices that you make, how to increase your choices and possibilities and to feel free whenever you feel stuck. Today I want to talk about your deathbed. My gosh, <laughs> Aurora. Um, very light topic. It's a beautiful spring day. I'm currently on my little vacation, my road trip. And um, yeah, I recorded this episode before I left because I wanted to make sure that you do not feel abandoned. Make sure to subscribe to my podcast if you haven't already to not miss out on future episodes. And if you feel like you want to heal from the inside, maybe even learn how to meditate. Of course, you can skip these episodes if meditation is still a trigger word for you. But if you want to start out a journey of self-healing, please hop on to season one and start from there. Because there's kind of a build-up to my podcast here. I'm very excited to be coming to an end with season six and soon be on season seven with you. Also, I wanted to ask you, um, I have statistics for my podcast and there it tells me where my listeners come from. But I would like to hear from you personally, from where are you listening from? Are you in North America? Are you in Australia, in South America, in Europe? Um, I would love to connect with you and to hear about your experience you're going through right now. So never hold back and connect with me on Aurora Eggert, um, my profile on Facebook, or Aurora Eggert Coaching. All right, let's talk about your deathbed. <laughs> that is, of course, like everything I share here is just my experience and what I've learned, what helped me to heal, what helped me grow, what helped me to be the person that I am today running a beautiful little business here. Um, but I imagine it being very similar for everybody when they are on their deathbed. And a couple of years ago, I learned this with my grandfather who was about to pass away. And the interesting thing that I've learned is that he was mad at a lot of people while he was still healthy. He always judged people, he blamed people, um, was angry, resentful towards people. That was, yeah just his thing but when his death was coming closer when he could really smell it and yeah touch it so to say right in front of him all the regrets came up all the mistakes came up all the pain came up that he had inflicted on others let that sink in. Imagine that one day you lay there and everything comes back. It's a very, very tricky situation to be in because maybe right now while you're listening, you are regretting a bunch of things already. And then you would say, but Aurora, why are you saying this? Like I made really huge mistakes and I'm still suffering from the consequences, why do you say this? How am I going to survive to my death with these regrets? Bear with me. I will ask you 
to start out on a journey of self-forgiveness. If that's the case, if you've done mistakes, if you've made choices in your past that are really ho horrible and, and very shitty, especially for other people, but now for you, then you can't waste any more time, but you have to forgive yourself. And this now might sound like, wow, forgiving myself? No, because that would mean that I accept and I'm okay with the mistake I've made, but I'm seriously not. I understand, I will say to you, but you have to forgive yourself. You have to let this go. It's done and over with. You can't make this mistake hinder you, hold you back, restrict you any longer. You have to start and let go. And if you are in a situation where you feel okay with yourself, then this episode is for you as well because be wise with the choices that you're making and make sure that Yes, you follow your heart, you follow your soul calling. But on this path, try to the best of your ability to not harm or hurt other people. Again, you will upset people, you will p piss people off once you engage on your own journey. And that's okay, you have to follow your heart but I mean intensely hurting and letting down. Shutting people out that you're just too lazy to have an honest boundary-setting conversation with. To be as clear as possible. To express yourself as honestly as possible is one way to live without regrets at the end of your life. I have a strong feeling that even if I was to make no mistakes, so to say, until the rest of my days, my brain would still come up with stuff. Oh my God, but I could have done this. I could have said this. I could have, you know, accomplished that. This is simply how our brain works. But the decisions that you're going to make from now on have not only a deep impact on your future and how your life is going to unfold, they have a deep impact on others as well. The better you know yourself, the better decisions you're going to make that affect you the best way possible and the people around you that you love and care about. So I think with this episode, I really want to raise awareness that you can't waste any time in forgiving yourself, forgiving others, and to set yourself free from regret and resentment and to focus on how you can make better choices from now on in order to not live with regrets and pain. What is driving you? What are your core values? And do you live in alignment with these core values that you have? Is there areas in your life where you are in conflict with your values, where you feel you have to... Um, compromise and if you want me to list the areas of your life that I'm talking about here it is your personal relationships your family, your friends your romantic relationships and most importantly your relationship to yourself can you express yourself freely 
let do you let people see you for who you are do you lie to yourself and why do you lie to yourself do you li do you lie to others and why do you lie to others are you silent when you should be speaking up but you choose to because you don't want to create drama and conflict how it is when it comes to your job your work life Are you self-employed? Are you employed? What's your relation like with your boss, with your co-workers? If you're self-employed, what drives you? Are you in alignment with your core values at work? Your physical health. Are you making the best out of your physical health? Or do you compromise? Do you cheat? Your mental health. How do you nurture your mind? What do you consume on a daily basis through your eyes, through your ears? Is it in alignment with your true core values? Your financial situation. Do you feel comfortable? Do you feel safe? Do you feel supported? It is really important to live with this awareness, with this consciousness. Because the last thing I want is for you to regret one day that you didn't take enough care of yourself. That you were not honest with the people around you. If you have any feedback or comments... I'm burning to hear from you. If you feel like buying me a coffee, <laughs> there's a little link in the show notes where you can just donate a couple bucks and show appreciation, give back. If you have questions, if you have topic requests for future episodes, don't hold back. Contact me at Aurora Eggert on Facebook. All right, take really good care of yourself and I will be out there very soon again.